वाइएन प्लस समेशन डब्लू आई के आई आई कोस वन टू इसके आए सम फंक्शंस फॉर एग्जांपल यू हैव सीन वाइएन प्लस वन इक्वल टू वाइएन प्लस डेल्टा टी वाइएन के आए कोस वाइएन फॉर द एक्सप्लिसिट मेथड इंप्लिसिट मेथड इट वाज इट वाज वाइ डब्लू आई वाज डेल्टा टी दैट इज ओनली वन सो फॉर द एक्सप्लिसिट मेथड बी कोस वन एंड डब्लू आई बी ऑन व्हिच इज डेल्टा टी एंड के वन इज वाइएन प्लस वन फॉर इंप्लिसिट For semi-implicit method, can be person method. V equals to two. W I was 0.5. Delta T by two. Or 0.5 for the delta T equals to one. And then K1 equals to Y1. And K Y N K2 is Y N plus. So any numerical algorithm or time stepping algorithm can be expressed in this way. And we have seen V equals to one for the explicit method. V equals to one for the implicit method. But the can be person method, we found V equals to two. Okay, so this is the generalized way to represent generalized way to represent time integration. We, this method is also called as time integration. And this KIs or the Lange Kutta method, KIs are the functions are the functions. Evaluated at intermediate, evaluated at intermediate points. Evaluated at intermediate points. So generalized expression of KI or Nagy-Kutta method is H F T F. This is my H. That is step H F T N plus H C I. Comma y n plus summation j equals to one to m a i j k j. The generalized expression. I will derive everything here for different R k. I will show you if you express how you can get better approximation using Taylor series. Using Taylor series. So in this method, the parameters we have. The parameters we have W I, C I, and A I J. This is called as Butcher array. This is called as Butcher array. This is called as Butcher array. One more thing is the V, which is called as number of stage. Of course, number of stage is one for explicit method. In this method, one. And the time difference in the first mark is that the value of two. Here we could be having more. Okay. Number of stage or number of function even or we can also say this as number of functions evaluated first step or the order of the arc vectors. Order of arc vectors. Next is m is here. We see all the parameters. M is there. M equals to i minus one for explicit R k equals to i for semi implicit R k equals to v for fully implicit. You can see so R k is not the straight form. R k is still a separate research topic. Still, people are doing research on R k. Nangi Kutta is not this. Whatever you, whatever you actually been taught is R k four. The Nangi Kutta is this is very very simple. I am going to this here, derive here. But R k is whole part is a big thing. In fact, I can even spend ten lectures on R k. That is the way the R k R k because it is so powerful. The Marcus method we can even go for very high order convergence uh, here. So I will be talking about. You are R k two stage. Two stage means two intermediate from two two function evaluations. Two function evaluations. Function evaluation could be here or could be some. We don't know. If it is here, it will become like our tangential method. If the function evaluation I am doing it here, that could be R k method. So so far we have done function evaluation here. We have to see something is going on here in between. So that's the complete philosophical perspective of the of the R k method. So let's start with this parameter introduction. 
This is not the argument. Okay, so we'll go for two stage argument where v equals to two. Okay, first you can see all the parameters. I think all the parameters I have actually seen. Look at your notebook because some parameters are created from the board. Look at the notebook and see. Try to understand the parameter. If you don't understand the parameter, you will not appreciate argument. So, explicit method. Second order. Explicit method means m should be i minus one. M should be i minus one explicit. I am saying it's explicit method. If m is i minus one, okay, we'll see that interesting part. So two stage bit means how many function evaluation? Two function evaluations with k one and k two. K is at the number of functions. K i's are the functions evaluated in intermediate parts. That's why I wrote. K i's are the functions evaluated at intermediate parts. Right? I wrote that. Yes. Okay. So since stage is two, I have k one and k two. Now can you tell me what is k one and k two? K one is h f. T n. K one is H F T n. So here, what I can do here, T n comma Y n. Here I can say I equals to one, M equals to zero, C one equals to zero. I can fix C one equal to zero in my hand. I will show you many parameters. You can have your own fixation because we will have less number of algebraic equations and more number of unknowns. Will that's the way our family is, okay? And why n equals to zero? Because i equals to one here. Here i equals to one. N equals to i minus one. That's why n equals to zero. I wrote here. Here i equals to two. N equals to one. We'll see further, which is h n t n plus T n plus tell me T n plus H H C one you see the formula no K I equals to H F T n plus H C I comma H C two comma then Y n plus how many terms will be there N equals to one N equals to one that means W I equals to one to one that's it then what is that Y n plus Y n plus. If you don't write this, write once again. K i h f t n plus h c i y n plus summation i equals to j equals to one to m a i j t j m equals to i minus one for explicit. Now tell me what is happening here. Y n plus a to one. That's it. Here i equals to two, n equals to one, and that's it. You have seen. And I think c one equal to zero will show you that there are so many parameters I think c one equal to zero. You can you may not have c one zero. That I can give you the example. I'll say don't assume c one equal to zero. That is the example question. So these are the two things we have solved. What do we do? Our formula for our method is y n plus one equals to y n plus i equals to one to b. Where b is the number of states, our number of states is two. That means it should be i equals to one to two. Now y k. That's the argument. We have evaluated this two also. We have evaluated what done it, and we have so many parameters. The Boucher array. You see that w i c i a i. A and b are now clear. A and b are no more parameters. So this parameter, so entire argument, this Boucher array is very important, and Boucher array is your control. With the Boucher array like controller, Boucher array acts as a controller. The Boucher array, we can have a own argument. So we'll show how this Boucher array plays a critical role in argument. Let's look at much more perspective of the language model. So, how to determine coefficients? Next question. How to determine? Coefficients. Yn plus one equals to Yn plus Hf. I am just 
writing my data series in terms of why is my data usual, right? TN plus or plus two TN. You have to do this for all the time. A square by two factorial. Sorry. Y n double prime. H two by three double. Sorry, sorry, sorry. H y n prime. Yeah, am I correct? Right? Yeah. Order of. If you cut it here, order is h. H is the time step. Right? H is time step. We can write this as y n plus h of f of y n. Sometimes we call as f n for the. I want to simplify my symbols. Okay. So here I write f n. Here I write f n plus. We can write f of p n. It is f n is nothing but so. What actually? Uh, uh, so what actually we are doing here? H square by two factorial d y n prime d t order h two y n h of f n h square by two factorial d d t of y n prime is what f of t n y n. Am I correct? What is the original original differential equation? d y t equals to much of t y. It should be f of t at t n. Correct. Order h two again. We should always write the first problem. Y n plus h of f n h square by two factorial. Then what will happen? Remember that is your your thermodynamics chain rule of differentiation. It has been taught. First you take with respect to t then y. So there will be two terms here. H square by two factorial. Tell me the terms. Chain rule of differentiation. What should everybody will come? Chain rule of differentiation. What's the first term? Do it by do t. At the end then. Do f by do t d t by d t equals to one. No problem. Next. Do f by do y do y d t. Right. Do f by do y. We don't know that part. We don't know that part. D y by d t is function of d y. That means again function of f n. It is f n. Right. Order h two. Am I correct? Yes. I have done exactly what I was talking about. Change rule of differential in order to get strong guy. Okay. So next step is when say R K second order. When say R K second order, that means two function evaluation. This is the calculation we have done. I am scoring this calculation. We have done because we will be doing further calculations. <coughs> so generally speaking, that. If I have the second order R K method, order of it is H two. I will show it to you. That's what I have done this much. Okay. So this calculation you are asked to so far. In the data series we have done backup calculation to be required. Now we go back to R K second order method. What is R K second order method? Two function evaluations. Two function evaluation for R K second order method, which is very simple. Y n plus one equals to Y n plus W one K one plus. W two K equals to Y N W one H F T N Y N plus W two H what is K two A four T N plus H C two comma Y N plus A two one K one am I correct? I am just repeating what I wrote, right? I am just repeating what I wrote in our table. Y n plus W one. See this method, you don't have to do any data series. It's already the, at the reference stage. This is your T n, T n plus one. Already the reference stage. So you don't have to do anything here. 
is okay. You can think it. Plus w to h. This is going to do series again because it is t and y n both has got some increment here. So you have to do Taylor series with respect to f of t and y n. And I have shown you the Taylor series for multiple variable, right? Last class only I have shown. So what will be the Taylor series here? f of t n comma y n plus 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 we have done Taylor series for multiple variable. We have done it. Last class, same variable. Lavanja, Taylor series. What is the next one? Do it. Do it by. What is the delta T? HC2. HC2. Do it by do T. T N plus A21 K1. Do it by do Y at T N. Remember that? 
whatever you do RK method, you should get the butcher arrays only. Should not have anything else. Now butcher array will control the RK method. Now butcher array will control the RK method. Remember that one more thing should have come. C1 equals 0. If you wouldn't have put C1 equal to 0, one more thing should have come. It would have been more complicated. How many unknowns are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, only 3 equations. That means we can still have flexibility. We can assume some. We can have flexibility. First case, shall I get this? I think this part is of no use. If I say, first case, W1 equals to W2 equals to half. W equals to half. C2 will be then what? C2 will be half, right? 1. C2 will be half or 1?
which is called as weak point predictor characteristic. Lastly, I want to complete the argument based on the fourth order, four stage Ramiputta method. Fourth order. Based on fourth order. So, what kind of question you can expect of this? I will actually give a technique. I will say this one, for this many functions, this many uh, functions I want to evaluate, and I will ask you the question develop your own algorithm of marketing. So, questions will be, I will ask you to have the, this kind of method, derive this kind of method. I will give the things, okay, number of stages is 2, semi implicit, implicit, what is the technique? If it is implicit method, remember that you have derived something. Okay? So, those kind of things you are doing. Sir, you are sleeping. Yes, I was observing you. Okay? You will be smarter than me. Fourth order, four stage. RK method K1 HF TN comma Y K2 HF TN plus CQH YN plus A21 K1 K3 which is HF TN plus CQH YN plus A31 K1 plus A32 K2 and K4, which is HF, TN plus C4H, YN plus A41K1, plus A42K2, plus A43K2. The future array table you can construct C1, C2, C3, and C4 will be A11, A12, A13, A14. A21, A22, A23, A24, A31, A32, A33, A34, A41, A42, A43, A44, A45, A46, and top of that we have weighting factor W1, W2, W3, W4, function evaluation is force solution. RK4, which is there in the computer, MATLAB code, which is C1, first I will write for C1, which is 0, 0, C1, A11, A12, A13, A14. I will write W1 later. Let me W1 I can put here. 1 by 6, 2 by 6, 1 by 6. This table is very important. I'll ask you to solve a problem using this table. So you can actually uh, have this in handy for the example. Half, half, zero, zero, zero. I'm writing a butcher arrow. Half, zero, half, zero, zero. And lastly, we have one, zero, zero, one, zero. So, W1, W2, W3, I wrote 1 by 6. Remember that the addition should be 1. Summation of number should be 1. Mostly, the derivation should be 1. And then C1 is half. C1 is 0. Half is 0. Half is 0. And then C2 is 1. Half is 0. 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 Half Okay, you can get four or four stage from. I'm asked you to derive the four or four stage from. I'm asked you to derive. That means the formula will be. I'm asking you how to derive y n plus one equals to y n plus one by six. K one plus two K two plus two K plus two K. You can see that weighting factor is coming more so nicely. One by six, two by six. It is, I think, two by six. 1, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 2
how many minutes? 15 more minutes? Yes, sir. 15 more minutes, sir. Then the last part, I deserve the last portion that will be well covered within 10 minutes. Any question, Mark? I think we have got the derivation. So, if we give some array, we can derive based on data series. So, if I say 4 power of function, immediately you should go for S to the power 5. Derive the backup Taylor series, what I have done. First step. Then, take this function, see the increment. Do the Taylor series. Compare, get the function. That's the step for the argument. If you want, you can write the steps, what I said just now. Or if you forget it, that is your problem. So, for, if you see the argument step, what I am trying to ask you, I am saying 4 power, 4 stage. Number of stage will tell you order of error. You know order of raise to your 5. Data series will be right for our raise to your 5. Keep it in the back. Then, you identify this function. Each of these will require Taylor series approximation because so many increments are there. You write this y1, yn equals to this one. The w1 k1, w2 k3, w4 k4. Each of the k's will be having the Taylor series. And then compare the identical terms. Get the equations. And if I pick the future array, you can get the expression. That's it. Are clear? These are the steps for the argument. Okay, so lastly I will be talking about the partial differential equation which I have not covered in the last portion. So this is the way, so if I want you to, if I want you to solve dy1 dy t function of y1 y2 dy2 dy t function of y1 y2 how to solve by arc method? Can you solve by arc method? This is a problem. Practice this kind of problem. This is f and g. I am asked how to solve the argument. How to solve? Explicit. It is actually not explicit. It is an autonomous system. No t here in this. But they are comfortable. So in that case, we need to have for d this one k11, k12, k1. Second one, you can have k21, k22, k2. So k will be like a matrix. This k1, k2, k3, this is for the first equation. This 1, 2, 3 for the second equation. If you are really confused, we can do k1, k2, k3. We can do, say, k1 into k3. Because we have two yn, so we have y1 n plus 1 we have y2 also n plus 1 right? this 2 are together so in that case each one will have k1 k2 k3 sometimes you will have we will see this k1 will be a function of n2 also depending on the calculation ok so this type of numerical problem may come to that or should be come I don't know I will to set the question So please practice this kind of problem. If uh, if I if I don't give the form, I give the formula. What formula I should use? Next is PD. It's very very straightforward. Y T 1 
to y t t plus 1 step y t plus 1 to y t plus 1 we know that dy dt if it is f of y like capital f of y in this algorithm means y t plus 1 minus y t equals to delta t function of y at t plus 1 am I correct? how to write the residuals and get okay? this kind of problem came in the last time in the exam I am solving the last time exam problem I didn't do it in the class last time but I am doing it how to write residual Jacobian? you know everything first residual R1 will be what? R1 will be what? first residual R1 we have done it already in the class I am just repeating what we have done and the first both what is the property condition? the Dirichlet of Hyman the Dirichlet solution is known what is the residual then? R1 equals to R1 equals to R1 equals to My god, I have talked already in the class, last class What C? C is what kind of value? That means nobody is interested, that's what I am telling you, I don't know whom I am teaching actually No, what is interested? What is that? Y1 T plus 1, I am saying at T plus 1, current time step minus that's all. This the condition is given, right? You are saying C or something, that's all. something I have to say because I asked you. R2 will be what is the residue of R2? First you talk about this one, then you come here. You know this one, right? Do to y by y square. Central difference formula. Central difference formula. What did you do? At two. At two is I'm here. If, what is that? You know what that? I should write this one. Now you tell me. Minus sign is there. At two equals to. At two equals to. You have done first class, boss. I am doing asking for a difference formula, boss. Finite difference formula, central difference. Boss, the dou by dou by square. What second note? What should I write? What is that? I am doing a t plus one step. Do you remember that? The superscript should be there. The superscript tell me the answer. What? Why? I am really helpless. Whom I am teaching, I don't know. D2i by d square at this more central difference formula, what should I write? What is that? Y3 p plus 1 minus 2y2 p plus 1 plus y1 p plus 1 divided by delta t square. Am I correct? Minus sign. Am I correct? Yes or no? Minus f of y2 t plus 1 now thing is that then do y by do t will be replaced by y t plus 1 minus delta t so it should be y2 t plus 1 minus y2 t by delta t yes, it is over. so here only thing is that t plus 1 is coming now how to get t remember that initial condition is given at each point y equals to y0. So when you start with 1, it is y is 0 and 0 already you have the solution. And you don't have to you know that always you get, get the previous time steps convert solution as initial guess. Okay? What is my Rn or Ri? Rn you can write to Rn I want to go here. Minus Ri I want. What is my Ri? y i plus 1 t plus 1 minus 2 y i t plus 1 plus y i 
minus 1 t plus 1 by delta t square minus f of y i t plus 1 plus y i t plus 1 minus y i t by delta t. Are you can do it? I mean, I don't want to do it because we have to again uh, do that kind of jugglery. We have already done it. So, I want to find out the Jacobian terms. J i j. Which is do r i y do y j what of t plus 1 because for each state you can see that this is variable, this is variable, this is variable, but this is known, it is already already derived the whole time. This is known because if you put y 3 t 1, y 2 0 is known. Initial case. Similarly, 2 means it is one already evaluated. So this is the Jacobian term. Okay? With this Jacobian term, one can actually evaluate. With this Jacobian term, one can actually evaluate all the Jacobian entries. I don't want to derive everything here. I think you can, with this concept, you can have residual and Jacobian, you can solve the time dependent problem by the finite difference method. And that's all for the lecture for this course. And uh, thanks for your kind attention. So, what uh, uh, I think 